G'day guys, welcome back to this AFL Evolution career, and this time, it's personal. Taking on the Dockers and in Western Derby 52, I believe, at Optus Stadium, this time we're the away team. The last time we played the Dockers, it was a dramatic affair. We obviously, I think we considered nine goals in a row in that third quarter or something ridiculous like that. Mitch Crow didn't keep the bag of three. Alex Pierce was tearing me up from uh, set half forward or whatever. But this time, I'm not going to make that same mistake. The merry-go round of selection continues. I think Gaff's still out for three weeks. Redden comes back in, but Tom Barass is now out for a month. So I've actually brought in debutant Harry Edwards, taking us to about five debutants, maybe four debutants this year. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but either way, we've uh, we've blooded a lot of youth in this side. So Harry Edwards has the unenviable task of playing full back. Well, I was going to say unenviable. I think he's actually got him listed on Travi Collier. But it's going to be a tough ask anyway in a big Western Derby. Fremantle season's over. For us, it's all about trying to consolidate a top two spot, if not first, because we do have a tough run home after this thing. We've got Carlton away. We've got Collingwood in Perth. Um, I think we've got the Bulldogs away, and even though they're I think, sitting like second last or something, uh, that will still be a challenging encounter. So, every game counts, as it always does. Let's see how the Eagles go in Western Derby 52. Throw on the ball, pay. Dom Sheed has uh, found himself in the forward half for most of this game so far. With the good tackle that caused that, I think. And he's put through the first goal of the game. Oh, I don't know who got boot to ball. I'm guessing it wasn't me. Andrew Brayshaw has done very well out of the pack. I didn't even see that happen. The Dockers get the quick response. Oh, he's a very good kick. There was two Dockers onto one. One of them's Nat five for whatever reason. But that penetrating kick from Duggan put it to the advantage of Kennedy. He was able to run in the pocket, pocket and they're going to get a goal out of that. Well done, Liam Duggan. Oh, you're joking. Adam Chera marks uncontested after a bad Josh Rotham pass. And this will... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Oh, great tackle on Alex Pierce by Bailey Williams. He's won a few free kicks in his time, and he's always slotted the goal. Great tackle and ferocity there from the young man. Oh, that might sneak through. Jack Jones kicked a very good goal. And the Eagles break a little bit of the tension up from what was an enthralling contest just now. And that is the quarter time siren, the Eagles. I wouldn't say dominate that quarter, but 18 points in front shows they've just been a little bit cleaner. But the Dockers have come to play. Nat Fife is winning a lot of the footy. It's been an intriguing battle so far, but the Eagles just a little bit too classy. Takes it well. A lot of possessions for him. Darling drives the ball forward. It becomes a foot race. Oscar Round's got a real Excellent challenge on his hands here if he wants to impact. Doesn't quite get there. Intercepted. Demand throws the ball. Throwing the ball paid. Is Darling gonna have a crack? I think we will. Tell you what, not a bad effort from young Darling. He's nailed that. That is a devastating blow for Fremantle. Darling has roosted that for about 65 metres. Sheed will make them pay with his second goal. Eagles started to trounce him now. Oh, Kennedy's taking a great grab there. With what was a fairly average kick by uh, the skipper Elliot Yo. Gonna be a tough kick from here though. Or is it? I think he's nailed it. He has 37 points to the margin. The Eagles are putting on a clinic. Oh, good grab there, Kennedy. 
Right in that nui. Tim Kelly, anyway, takes the grab. Take your pick. The Eagles are just running into goal after goal at the moment. He's put it through. 50 points nearly the margin. Fremantle really not responding in front of a home crowd. Oh, that is a terrible kick. Yet again, adding to the clangers from the Dockers. Oscar Allen should go back and kick this under the conditions. He's put it through, and the run of goals continues. He's put it through, Kennedy. That is an amazing set of goals he's kicked today. This is one-way traffic. Oh, Mundy finally has the response for the Dockers. No one could quite chase him down, not even big old McGovern. The Dockers get their second goal, and I think that was 10 goals in between their first and second to the Eagles. Jetta. Oh, the, hasn't kicked too many goals this season, and that continues with one of the more bizarre bounces I've ever seen. Good mark there by Liam Ryan. He's within range, but he actually sees Petricelli uncontested. This Fremantle defence is in all sorts. This should be a simple goal. Sheed should put this through. He's got a handful today. Holding the ball, play, play against Houston Hughes, Oscar Allen with a good tackle there. The, answer, the Dockers really have no answers for the forward pressure the Eagles have been able to put on. That makes the margin 86 points. It's by far the biggest lead the Eagles have had over any team this season. And 100 points, the margin is seriously in danger here. Oh, that's a naughty kick from Archie. He extends it to 95 points, I think. Oh, there's a chance here for Cripps to go on and kick the goal. Is that going to go to 100 points? Oh, it's bounced the wrong way. It was an off break near to the leggy. Oh, Cripper. Now he shouldn't make any mistake. That will extend the lead to 102 points. Can you believe it? Oh, one of the goals of the year from Brandon Matera. I don't know about that, but it is only Fremantle's third goal of the day, so I can't get too upset. Nat Nui, can he put this through? He's missed everything. Oh, Jared Cameron has. That is an embarrassing effort. Darling's had one from this range. Gonna try another. Pretty good. Missed everything. Puts it on the boot. Using every ounce of energy has That is full time, 98 points. I am mildly frustrated not to have won by hundred. I must have missed about four shots in the goal square in that last few minutes. But it doesn't matter. The Eagles stamp their authority on this season. If they weren't already considered the Premiership favourite, everyone's looking at them now and going, holy shit. That was a dominant performance. 55 insides, 50s to 16. Less disposals. Interestingly, that Fremantle side I played was probably just the worst performance I've seen from any team on this game. I didn't mess with the difficulties, if that had entered your wondering. I definitely didn't. They had just butchered the ball from start to finish. 98 points is one of the biggest derby wins in a while. 20 might be Fremantle's 
lowest score in a derby, I reckon. Dom Sheed had the most goals with three, along with Josh Kennedy. Overall, it was a absolutely one-sided affair, to say the least. Tim Kelly with another three votes. Josh Kennedy gets two. Now, guys, let's have a look at the ladder. And the Eagles still first, as you'd expect. Percentage jumps up to 139%. That is Premiership football. The Hawks are second still, and the Crows have jumped back into third despite their loss in Perth. They've carried some momentum through. Brisbane have just slid out of the eighth, and our next opponents, Carlton, are in tenth, enjoying a much improved season under David Teague. Fremantle slipped to 14th with a percentage of 89. Gold Coast, Port, Bulldogs, and now Essendon are in the bottom four. Interesting stuff. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this one-sided affair of the AFL Evolution career. I reckon next week will be a much better game. We play Carlton, and I think it's at the MCG. Will it tell us? It does not, but that's all right. I'll see you there, guys. Looking forward to it. Catch you then.